Hello everyone, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Shadows of New York. And Julia. Father. How are you holding up? I'm fine, stumbling around and hoping for a miracle to happen like always. No better place to ask for a miracle than behind these gates, you know. And so I hear. Fast from the report about Einzing and Agatha, and I look around, but Bennett is nowhere to be seen. Bennett just ignored Bennett in that absence. Besides the city's silent and simply fast and happiness, there's something good finally happening in my own life. But of course, it doesn't last for long. I took Bennett away because I wanted to talk to you about him. I knew it. Like I am how. Exactly. Ben won't accept anything less than me joining Covenant. It's like a worried parent. A basic gesture here and there, growing up in. Uh, showing up in church from time to time and pretend to listen when you can't mark your case. I mean, I've been through this song and dance before with my own worried parents when I was a teenager. Wondering the forces of mass was over and I didn't be able to smoke because they'd pick up on the scent. One of the best ones of my life, you know, I end up. Uh, part of the reason I'm distancing myself from them. I don't need this fake energy in my life and I'm honestly weirded out by you asking me to lie. I'm not asking you to lie, Julia, and let me ask you this. What? Are you a spiritual person? I guess I am, kind of. And it always was something being able to see ghosts and not change the things. I guess mostly because seeing the world as purely material seemed boring to me somehow. You are, and you were raised Catholic, so can't you find a way to express that spirituality in our church? Yeah, I don't see a way right now. And why is that? I sigh. Too many people who think my soul needs to be saved because I live with a woman for stars. I know there's a lot of reasons. Like the same drinking blood every night, I feel in some. Probably my fear whenever I walk by clergymen whose faith seems to have to be genuine. Wine. That sounds like an excuse. It's about to realize you're a god, not other people. In theory, but back in the low country, I've heard my show of homilies that felt like complete condemnations of my kind, and then they would condemn hate toward people like me. And you know, when I'm in church, as you know, people try to stir shit around your very existence every few months, some minimal support would be appreciated. Sorry, or you can count on simple, silent complicity. I get, I know there's a lot of work to be done and a lot of undeserved hurt going around, but listen, I don't even want to talk about it. Like I hate the tone I use when I talk about it. Some preacher than those preachers than my biggest dream. Just to not to give a shit. One of the things I have to story about a guy right from my hometown, most macho guy around, with a jaw you could chop at night one. Becoming an actor in Warsaw, very successful. Deservedly so. The capital might not be New York City, but it is still a big city. Big cities go to the heads of bumpkins like us, and in his case, we sold in a dream of coming out to his parents. Surrounded by all these stories of openly cruel people, played one even. So I thought he had a chance to make it work, so he goes back to his downtown so when he's gonna live his truth. His dad had a ruined party of Jason businessman, curses him, his uncle takes him into the bushes and starts to destroy him physically. It's so bad he gets put in the ICU. His face and jaw get ruined for good.
Fast forward a year or two of his career while over the guy's deck and his parents had rest the couch with no other power while we turned to God. We chose him to forgive his kin. I think it's fine again, and requires seeing of divine mercy, a kind lucky priest talks about protecting our families. The man sits on the front row of the church with a disfigured smile on his face. But that story alone didn't attract me away. One time when I saw how blissful he was, I could swear he was actually able to hear God whispering to him. He looked like a saint. Yeah, it fucked me up so bad I left. Dot, dot. Who knows it now? Maybe I'm still running from hearing about Kara and Jess, uh, Jesse me, Montgomery. Montgomery, there we go. <laughs> Jesus, man. I could never talk about again, that'd be great. I know that I tend to sound like a loser who loves to pontificate about shit I can't change, but at least I keep trying to change myself, damn it. I won't offer empty platitudes, but I th think I understand what I was meant to understand. Hope I haven't insulted you in any way. And if I've learned not to hold people responsible for what the rest of the organization is doing, it would be hard looking in the mirror otherwise. <laughs> not that there's much I can see in the mirror right now. Just wondering about one thing. There's always a cross on your chest. Yeah, why do we w always wear a cross? That is a good question. Eh, I like how it goes with my outfit. So it's just a fashion accessory to you? It's an important piece of an outfit, would that be all? Yes, have a good night, Julia. Have a good night, Father. I find you sitting in bed scrolling through Pinch. Oh god, we even corrupted Pinterest on our phone. So how are you doing, detective? I'm on the bed, bury my face in pillows and scream. That bad, huh? I don't want to tell about Double Spiral, but I still have to figure out how I feel about it. Uh, I'm just not cut out for this. Oh, shut up, if you aren't, who is? Sherlock Holmes. Herclo Hercule Parat, Colombo, Mads Mikkelsen's boyfriend from Hannibal, whatever his name was. I don't know, someone who can actually put two and two together. Can't fool me to be leaving you incompetent, you dumbass. Read your articles, don't pretend you suddenly forgot how to do your job. Eh, I haven't, but I've got no evidence, no witnesses, no promising leads, nothing. I just stumble around with so many things. Talking big, bleh. And so you're like, I don't know, Jack Nicholson in Chinatown. And he actually solved his case. And I didn't even wish he never took it up. Was that supposed to cheer me up? Just saying the situation sounds like an awful lot like Chinatown. You pray for leads, big plans for the city, blah blah blah. Yeah, and that's depressing. <laughs> it's not wrong, though. I mean, that's how this world works. A bunch of big elites just sliding pieces um, across the board. It is what it is. I just think you should approach it in this way and look for a solution to your problems outside the box. Not a mystery, but maybe like a trap to escape? Eh, maybe. I was on the bed. Again, I lie there for a bit, staring at the ceiling. I approach the code from behind and tug her sleeve to draw her attention. Psst. Hey. Put the phone away. Now come on, Jules. Now come on, Jules, we can't do this every night. I've got my own work and I need to worry about anemia. You said just for yourself, besides I was just a inspiration. I'll get to close my face like a cat. 
Your parts, ma'am. You know what's going going on in the news. People are going absolutely insane about those fires, country trips, and orders. And remember when this game came out? Uh huh. Pretty please. Can't hunt I have to replenish my stash. And besides, worried about overuse. My brain is working a bit too slow. My bounce is off. I was just thinking about how I miss meditation. Give me close in if you do this one. So she just wants an excuse, and even though it would be the responsible thing to do, I know she's insatiable. She's usually the one who takes the initiative. Try a fire push. Bite her and whisper it. No, George, tonight, let's do this rock. <laughs> Jesus. Those are hands in the owl pitchery. Jesus, you're greedy, thanks. Always have been. Have you noticed? Well, there you go. So it's subtle enough that it makes a question. Are they doing the set? Or is it just the blood thing? How it could be both, for all we know. We're just sort of left with a... Is it a thing? Alright, you. Well, I can't really do anything about you. I need to rest. Boop. So I would have had to do is wait now for 11 minutes and I could have ended on that point in the last video. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, you're up early. Yeah, I told you. Got work to do. Nice stretch. And that's Admar reminds me of the one quote you always used to throw around. A lot of people say you can't smoke dope and get drunk when you got kids, and that's not true. You can't be still gotta get up in the morning. That's being responsible. That's one I never understood why it was so hilarious to you. Maybe I just accepted the mystery and made you my personal credo. Credo. I am a responsible person. Are you planning to have kids? Not many years. By the way, you've got mail. Email up by the door. It's from Crater. Of course it is. There's a message saying you won't be able to make it tonight. If I were on the food tomorrow to meet D'Angelo, he wants me to lay low until then to stay in this apartment if possible. Great. So basically we've potentially aggroed people and we need to lay low. That's not great. Very nobody knows what Tamika is. They know she's in trouble and he doesn't want me near it. Oh why is it? So, we have a day off, and all my options are, do the as that of it. Basically, don't leave the apartment. And everything's like, leave the apartment. <laughs> Great, super. See, here's the thing, well, you know, if this was an actual fiction novel, save choices. But since this isn't, I guess we're just going got the Nets Legion investigate. So I need to have the town Nets Lead probably use this but the investigation continues. Yeah, you know, don't leave the apartment. Immediately leave the apartment. It would be fun to spend some more time together, you know. Exactly. But no. We're doing our own thing, apparently. Yeah, <sighs> Sucks to be us. Go, you know this is important to me. I know, I know, but I'd like to know I'm important to you. Oh, no. There's what we need, the... Here's when you break out the drinks. Okay. So. The fun thing about 
this situation is. It's a common situation. The whole bouncing your work life with your personal life. The problem, though, is we're being stupid and we're supposed to have technically gotten rid of this whole personal life bullshit because, you know, vampires. The whole thing is you're supposed to get rid of your own personal life. You're not supposed to keep it. But, no, no, we made deals and now we gotta keep our personal life and our work life. Which complicates things. But yeah, like we were literally, we literally have a day off. And nope, we're gonna go investigate. Dakota wants us to spend time with her. We don't get a choice in the matter. Which is why I'm going to feel bad at the end of this Let's Play. Because I'm pretty sure I know where this is going to go. And we're not going to be with Dakota at the end of this Let's Play. Not like the last time we did this, because the bad ending for this, spoilers, I'm pretty sure we went away with her. And that was the quote-unquote bad ending. But uh, in my opinion, that was probably the good ending, in a way. Just because we left this whole politics and bullshit. And, yeah. But no, that's the bad ending, because the writers of this are all about that world of darkness. And you gotta be, you know, a douchebag. <laughs> you gotta... You gotta basically play the character, like... Not how you would play the character, but how the character would be played. Basically. You gotta play to your clan strengths, play to the whole camera thing, play to all of that, which means you... You're gonna be re reasonably evil. It sucks, in my opinion. Now then, as I mentioned before, I'm all about the neutral evil thing, but... Yeah, but I also have to factor in game mechanics. And generally, game mechanics tell me, don't be a dick to your party members. But you can be a dick to everyone else, because, you know, evil. But don't be a dick to your party members. Why? Because that makes conversations just awkward. But isn't that just playing to what you know? Exactly. Because the thing about gaming is if you know how things are going to go, of course you're going to shape your conversations and stuff around your party members. Why? Eh, because it's the best potential ending or events or outcomes or romance options for party members. Yeah, you sort of have to play things a certain way. At least that's what Bioware taught Especially early Bioware with the whole... You can't romance like Bastilla in Knights of the Republic if you're, you know, a dick to her. You can't romance uh, people in Jade Empire if you don't choose the right options and not the ones that make them unhappy with you. It's not like, you know, later of like Mass Effect where basically everyone's just trying to get in your pants and it's like, oh, well, I just gotta make the choice on which one. Because let's face it, Mass Effect didn't really have a fucking actual morality <laughs> system that affected that. They were just, oh, okay, you make good choice, you can make Paragon choice or Renegade choice. It didn't fucking really matter in that regard. You still ended up basically with a... Shepard, let's bang, okay? Aboard the ship. We'll bang. Okay. But anyway... Sorry, we're off on a tangent there, it's just... We're being stupid is basically what I want to say. Well, that makes two of us. Just a few more days. We'll find the killer, kick his ass, get up. 
promotion wouldn't do something we've never done before. Like what? That could be a question. I'll, uh, think of something. But now catch up uh, if you work. I need to get going. Fine, good luck. Stay safe. You know it. This place is really empty tonight. Ah, well. Now we have the usual. I this big, what are we doing in this relationship talk on coming up if I don't change my ways? Yeah, no shit. I'm some kind of surprised though it hasn't already happened, but most of the time Dakota has seemed happy enough to just listen to stories of my own life. You know, it's all boring and ordinary to me, it's exotic and engrossing to her. I guess I have that going for me. Yeah, because you know, you're not really supposed to be talking about your own life to the mortals, though. Anyway. Ah, well. No idea what to do tonight, so just. Yeah, you know, we could have just stayed there and, you know. But we have no idea what to do tonight. We just wind out for some reason. So just the last thing, wing it. Fire upon shoes, not allowing to stray. Right through the very heart of it, or where, however it went. So I'll lose myself in these fierce trees and pray that the answers I'm looking for are out there. And if they're not, maybe I'll at least find some amusement or blood instead. Speaking of... Camera Shriners are Prince of Cats. I can't remember which one we did last time, so we'll go with Prince of Cats. We saw the same with Dakota as if going in the cir round circles will be half the card was stressful enough. Maybe visit oh, some quiet neighborhood will help clear my head. Maybe I can also find blood. Maybe we'll go to that one area that, uh, what, the primogen of the thin blood lives at. There is that distinct five of Manhattan's residential area. And an unmistakable scent of casserole enveloping in the surroundings of the heavenly hour. I'm sure desolation makes it feel more like purgatory, though. It's not a single soul in sight, and. Ugh, crap. It's like I'm not alone after all. Some guy deserves himself climbing a nearby tree. I instantly really take a step into the shadows to. Remain outside his line of sight, but I can barely see anyway. Dang, well, from where I stand. I have to curb my voyeuristic impulses and keep my head down. For a good while, I can hear his heavy panting come on to you without. <laughs> this arrow gives him that tall. Sure looks like this is the first time this guy ever tried climbing a tree. He's a long time with a mysterious trespasser to say his breath and carry on. This distance I can barely discern his features. Say he's one of the longer branches, it seems certain enough. And nearly reaches a narrow window on the second floor. Still, this guy is hesitant. Alright, no biggie. Just eyes on the prize. Moves the steel, steps along the branch. His feet slipping every other step on his way to the window. By some inexplicable clue, he managed to keep his balance. Once he makes it far enough, the branch slowly bends under his weight. You know, I'm probably calculating chances to make it over to the window still. My guy, if you pull this off, it'll be a legit miracle. I can't help but show him on. Dress for a scout to surround one last time. Make sure no one can see it, and then he reaches in the pocket, pulls out what looks like a marble, and throws it in on the window. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Touch the marble with the grace of a baseball pitcher. The king of the on the glass is so but proves effective enough to alert whoever lives inside. First, I can say that the window opens with a creak of wood and frame, followed by the muffled by an undeniable happy voice of the girl inside. Prince, how did you. I told you this is too dangerous, my dad. Well, like, fuck him. You can't let him decide this choice was. You know how I feel about you, don't you? I do, but. Just let me in, baby. I promise we'll figure something out. Oh, for... Oh, I just get how many correctly. And just like that, Prince throws away all of his doubt and equally jumps inside. Strange, the arms of his forbidden lover. 
Petri makes me smile. Keeping eyes towards no Petri. What a story. Heartwarming, nostalgic. It's just too bad it's too cliche to stay open my writing. But you, you don't write anymore. Yeah, but suddenly you can simply stop thanking like a writer. Yeah, I gotta use the energy to some out for somehow. Put on, let's just start heading downtown. So basically all we did was we watched a uh, guy go inside a window. Pretty much all we did. <laughs> All of a sudden, the world ends. Sure, that's a thing. And then he stops from lost in the darkness and does not even a heartbeat to guide me. So I sleep paralysis. So it feels as if I suddenly woke up from reality instead of a dream. It seems to be reacting the same way I used to react. Whenever if I woke up in the middle of the night, unaware or not, but not able to move or speak, I just wait for it to pass. So of slowly regaining control, I just see a bizarre room emerge from the darkness. Just look at her flesh refusing its fate. Is it 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 is not the one you were looking for, is it? The fuck is this shit? Is that like a lamb to the slaughter? And the sheep is silent before the shears. Did not open his mouth. It's an unrighteous. Not even one there was none who understands. There was none who seeks for God. All have turned aside together. They have become useless. The only curses that fall from over must be put to the death. Raging waves of the sea foaming upon their own shame. Wandering stars for whom is reserve the blackness of darkness forever. We rest so end. Not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weaknesses in high places. And those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Why do I become armed with the darkness? There's always this nagging fear that it might be impossible to become the normal me again. Then so the shadow returns my normal. Truth, I will let my consciousness be dragged somewhere else, somewhere between the worlds. Somewhere like this, wherever this is. First time that fear has come true. Are you afraid? Bad idea to answer, don't do it. Yes. Great, well, we answered. Ah ha ha. Excellent. 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 I think I need to sit in this jail. I think I need to sit in this jail. Apparently I'm going to sit in the channel. I sit in the channel. Still in the lean years and unworthy joining the rest. For the path is open and in the path of obligation, liability, and death that will be repaid one day. If she actually would brought you here, I'll let you your response be a scent of death. Then I feel my mind beginning to drift away from me. Here I am slowly starting to regain control over my thoughts. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. Well, I think wherever you want. You sure we're not? Sure we're not touching my cavian? J just say. Find myself in dark and leaning against a wet, cold brick wall. I think I'm conscious again, back from wherever it was, awake by an unfamiliar place. Well, let's just hope it's still in New York City. Wait from the sheriff to see where I am. So much light by my head momentarily blinds me, causes me to instinctively raise my hand. I do, I hit some sort of garbage bag with my hand. Parts of the floor laying and loose in my towel, ding. Is that Tamika? I think that's Tamika. Pretty sure that's Tamika. What the fuck? A woman. Here, her hand grabbing my clothes. She brutally drags my clothes with one of my hands right already above my head. First off, her. Easy peace. I mean, you no know harm. How long have you been here? I don't know. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Doing hell in general, really, it's like sometimes the forces I control figure out how to control me. What are you, a junkie? No, you're kindred. Yeah, we should to go, damn it. I'm Jerry Sawinski, the representative of the La in New York City. Camera? Uh-huh, I'm a camera in plastic here. 
Well, if you came here to catch me, you can't be sorry you tried, Mr. Sombra. I don't know. Job right here, I wasn't ordered to catch her, but I'm just investigating Doug with Callahan's death. It surprises her, she loosens her grip silently. Slightly. Callahan is dead? Nothing left for a rug cork is a musty robe. I'll be damned, I've been off the grid for too long. What brought you here? My front different war pops in my head. Yeah, I think I know the right answer. Ah, a scent of death. She lets me go, I rub my eyes, and finally get a good look at her face. Tamika! Up. She's gorgeous and judging. Buy her no mad closer than the particular for real sword. She is probably an outlander. Oh, you know, can clan gang girl. Made up of those who have fallen through the cracks of society, they come to the cruelest neighborhood, so consider this a point of pride. If they hold your domains of no Prince, clan races from the ranks of those who have already spilled blood and have the had the blood spilled. We have survived the harshest conditions here, fought against horrible odds, and still came out on top. Prison gang leaders, vagrants, and any other kind who has seen the darker sides of this world. Catch them told you'll see one. Brace this moment, pursues knowledge or influence instead. Beckett. <laughs> Remember Beckett, everyone? Pursues knowledge instead? One of the gang respect is everything, and is always earned. Never given. Commonly referred to as wolves, barrels, and outcasts. Or if you want to piss them off, animals, strays, or savages. Well, we're talking you and I. Eh, yeah, sure. What's your name? Tamika. Pass me a smoke, will you? If only I could have my heart would skip a B right now. Tamika, I guess once again, someone out there led me to the proper path. Oh, yeah, sure. I passed through Circle Road. I'm standing in something wet. Something that smells tasty. Might be see a pot of water mixed with blood. I like it. Uh, these guys first light. Oh yeah, she's still being hunted by them, isn't she? High power guns and spins with looking out for its flashbang taste for soldiers specifically. You can't pet that dead. Recognize that equipment from some horror stories I've heard. First light, S I Yes dot com, whatever they call themselves. They all believe it the same. Usually before I have the chance to ask them a single question. You don't find any inquisitors. Some claim the community of the US government, some claim they're supported by the anti kindred fashion the holy. See. Some of them have uh, some of the wider theories. Do this all by yourself? You seriously seen nothing? Nothing at all? I shake my head. And believe it or not, I have no idea how I got here. I just kind of let the shadows guide me. That yeah, little somber thing. I've never actually talked to you, any of you. No idea what you guys can actually do. And I still learned the ropes myself. Go with the flow and all that. My embrace was just a few months ago. Huh. So you folks are with Ivory Tower now? Ah, uh, we finally have the one I sort of wish we had back in... The one we sort of wish I had back in Coteries, because, you know, the whole, what about the Sabbat? Why are the Camaro and the Anarchs the only factions? Yeah, my opinion, Bloodlines was a bit more interesting with, you know, you had both the Camaro, well, you had the Camaro, you had the Anarchs, you had the Sabbat, and then you had the fucking Kuei Jin. All just vying for stuff in the city. That's a chat you were with the Sabbat, the Kami and forgive all of the trouble you've caused them overnight. The Sabbat! And stream of Seth the Pro enjoys the predatory in attendance. He does the thing, highly have more hours. Largely for leave to embroider and, and bring about an escalate. Escalatro vampire on vampire conflict. No, it's the Kahana War. They were driven away from the West over the last few decades. I have heard that new so used to be Sabat Control in 1999. The sound from my clan used to be the thinkers behind these wackos. But we've seen them thrown our lot in with the camera. Yeah, to be fair, it used to be... Well, basically... 
You know, you had your Shimizu fighting your Jamil. Over in Prague, back and forth. But then, thing, shit happened, and then... Basically, all the people rallied up and against the Shimizu, and somehow a bunch of... A bunch of humans somehow fought one against a bunch of vampires. Destroy the Tsumitsu castle. Uh... Not sure how that works, but yeah. Skip a few errors and... Tsumitsu got back in play with the Sombra, ended up... End up with, let's see, who else? A bunch of Antibiros. Um, Shmeetsi, Lissambra. Shit, I'm trying to think who's the upper clans. Huh. <laughs> I can't even think of them off the top of my head. But mostly, yeah, Shmeetsi, Lissambra. Yeah, basically whoever they ended up with. I was going to say satellites, but satellites are sort of their own thing, and usually. I mean, they... I mean, they were technically involved in redemption. But then again, also were the Nosferatu helping the Sabbat, too. And then there was, you know... That one bloodlines thing where there was a satire, but that was sort of its own thing. It's sort of just a bunch of vampires that want to, you know, be vampires and not obey the whole humanity masquerade nonsense, but yet they still obey the masquerade nonsense. Anyway, yeah, practically still a neonate. Just know there's a lot of bad blood between my clan lovers, and I can expect at least one glare of pure content from every face at Elysium. Neonate, a teenager in kinder terms, knows more than fledgling, but still relatively new embrace. I wonder it'll be a few decades before I grow out of these shoes. Ha, I see. Man, if you think about that, yeah. A neonate completely toppled the frickin' bullshit in bloodlines all on his own. Or her own. Their own. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> Considering that, it's very, huh. Smoke and silence for a short while. There's no large SI presence in New York City. And the camera classified as a terrorist presence. There's no other American city that was hit as hard by terrorism as this one. All secret agencies need sempre artilleries. You do the math. And you're still taking these guys on here of all places? As you can see all around you. They're extremely dangerous. Almost got me for good last year. Took me a few weeks to get back in action. Then why are you doing this? Smoke reflects have an unfortunate tendency to hurt people I care about. My brothers, my sisters. I see. I don't know how it is in other cities. But here, funny enough, no one seemed to target Morganizer and Radicalized Kindred. Once the theory posed a threat to the current order. Meanwhile, the establishment in New York City. Hasn't it really changed ever since Cal Rose stepped down? Quite the opposite, he says. I read in the city has only strengthened the old paradigm. What makes you think that the go is something other than protecting citizens from the blank body menace? Who throws a cigarette into the puddle unfinished? And crushes under her heel. She obviously has difficulty smoking in sight. She's only ever tried it a few times. I assume she saw me carrying a pack and decided to try it to calm her nerves after the battle. Maybe she just wanted excuse to make her conversation less awkward. Who knows? 
Very red. Do you plan to snitch on me, Shadow Girl? Eh, why would I do that? Look at this for you who think I don't know to believe her. Don't know to believe her one second that camera in Pesco, which is so happy to stone upon the alley where I just killed a bunch of first time metal fuckers. So you're the one who's down this history. So I show her I mean business, just like I showed her nasty uh, yesterday. Look, I can't give to you shows where we killed one or a dozen thousand SI operatives. Where do you think? But you think you might have been involved in murder that actually concerns me, Cowhand's murder. What? What are you talking about? Found this on by well, what we made of it. Sure, the note she tries to grab it to read it, but I don't let her. Aside from your name, we've got Hope, Agathon, and D'Angelo. You know them? Eh, passingly. And it would Cowhand would need a list of all your names? Might know why, yeah. Do you? Absolutely, do you know a man coming with the name of Tork? Huh. Yeah, of course I do. You know about his connection to Boss Cowhand by processing to this list and me? No, I'm all yours. But you bad because it's a classified intel, sister. We might be a, what do you mean by classified? Not free. Not great, so if we're in the position to. So if we're in the position to afford any sort of quid pro quo, we finally let's hear it. What do you want? Or start the bodies. Killed too many of these assholes, they were tightening the screws. As soon as New York City is no longer safe for someone like me. Well, not that it ever was. Oh man, brace for something unreasonable. I need to way out of the city. You offer that to me, I give you the intel you need. Huh. Would you look at that? I. that's something I can handle, actually, yeah. She raises her eyebrows. That's a surprisingly confident answer for a practically still neonate. Something of an immigration officer. Can I say you sound awfully close to a cop? How oh, is this bad a bureaucrat? <laughs> bureaucrat? Oh no. I would see a path that would lead you to the west coast. I present safe travel if you took it, you'd be untraceable. Sounds too good to be true, what's the catch? Why do you see how much it cost? The only reason I know about this road is because a certain Nazi criminal who reached out to me on account of my position offered a mutually beneficial deal regarding a legal kindred travel. Ah, yes, Clan Nasratu. Clan of the Hidden. All the untouchables of our world. Lepers, sewer rats, colonies, scabs, or larks. Embraced by Nasratu. Which also an extreme disfigurement and nasty side effects of the blood. The crow test. Decrees can mimic both de birth defects, cancer growth, or horrible injuries. But not true or by default the most compassionate of the kindred, probably due to the human mutilations they suffer on a daily basis. To blend in some call on the blood to where the world faces the victims are to vanish altogether. Obfuscate. I always get very, very good stagecraft, costumes, first dance, and makeup. Well, there you go. I oh, refuse what they offer me, the only thing they could buy me. Ah, uh, a lot of cash. Ah, yeah, fine then. Why is that an issue? That's uh, something I never had a chance to ever say in earnest. Okay then. I guess you want me to help you out first before you do anything for me. Of course. Would you even accept this kind of deal? Hell no. Right, so when you think of something that actually benefits both of us. Hmm. Thoughts and thoughts for. Oh, then speaks up. Have you met Tork before? The course of your investigation before? I want to, but on the Anarch side. But I managed to meet Mia, and she was a key on the idea of the two of us meeting. Ah, yeah, it's Mia. Especially betrayed, she's got some sort of vicious stories to tell. But it would be beneath her to divulge them too bad. Maybe it could be a bonding experience. Here's the thing, a few months ago, Tork and I were together a lot of things happened a long story short. I don't know if you're closer, but for what I know, he's still very close to me. Back when I thought there might be something between us. Gave him a ring that has a lot of sentimental power to me, and since these days, sentimental memory is all that keeps me going. I want back. So my suggestion is... Tork, 
Care charge fee for sentry to get inside his base of operation. Me over him, ask him your questions and convince him to give my my ring back. You get to interrogate him. Then I get to have my ring back. Then you hear my side of the story. Then I get to leave the city of your help where I went more than once. They really let me in just because I tell them you sent me? Oh, they will trust me. Oh, sounds too easy. Why cause the two of you to drift apart? You're here to see both differences in world real. I assume so, but... That's a diplomatic answer. If I'm going to involve myself in the relationship drama with US lovers, I uh, need something more to go on. Will you? Yeah. Get to our words carefully. We always have become an element of his... His carefully crafted and projected image, having me as a radical partner, allowed him to have to present himself as a mediator while, play, while paying lip service to revolutionary ideas. A mediator. That's a 21st century word for you. 21st century for you. Everyone wants to be a middleman these days, and nobody wants to do what's right. Sometimes whenever I hear about Tork from the Ancima, they talk about him like he's the second coming of Mao. If you haven't ever seen that, it's only because from time to time people like me push him into doing an uneasy thing. You ever heard the Southern Wolf and the Northern Fox? Both they want to eat you for dinner. When the Southern Wolf makes it immediately obvious, the tricky Northern Fox made its eyes and allows you to pet him before you taking a bite. Truck loves to try himself with a. Northern Fox is a talker or a compromise, they seem reasonable compared to the opposition. At the end of the day, they have a fight on the same prize, power. And then it gives me a poor Boeing feeling, but I can't quite narrow down why. Alright, tell me where to go and I'll tell you where we'll meet later. Dot 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 dot. I'm just showing a torch when suddenly a shrill, a loud voice pierced my eardrums. Ah, oh, hi, Mia. And what the hell are you doing, Hal? Oh, yeah, it's a pissy light from Torx Inner Circles. You know, he's just pissed off. Only when I have retired bootleggers pop up to ruin my day. If you want to make. Let me do that half to make yourself scarce. Now I can do your boss with me and hell. The hell he did, get out. Now you'd be more open to cooperation after our last talk. Now when you're trying to make deals behind my back, bitch. Oh hey, he lost his hat. Nice coat, though. Mia, Mia, it's okay. There was walking through the door, one of the most. Infants New York City Barons, or some people start calling him the, the Mole Cowham as in the Baron of New York City. But we talked about this, she? The situation is a little bit different now. Demika sent her. What bullshit was able to track her down for weeks? Oh, I did. Guess what took me one night, you clown? <laughs> and for. Uh, bitchy hench going for the week, so I can't help but uh, put her down. She used to be a hateful look, but Torx just is there to stay quiet. Now this is a reason to celebrate, not to get mad. Now if you allow the two of us a private conversation... No way, I want to keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on that it, and that'll be enough, please. Puts on his best authoritative tone. Then works no process this time, me leaves the room. You're talking to me, or you mentioned cooperation. Of course I've heard about. I tried to make friends with her. So the investigation would go more smoothly, but it looks like it wasn't appreciated. I'm sorry about her, she could be over serious, but usually that's not a bad thing. So what was this music? Yeah, sure, so she has told you I've been trying to reach you for a few nights? I don't think so, have you? Well, I'm the dumbass of court order to investigate. Our hands find her death, so considering your connection with the case, I thought it would be brutal for us to talk. Ah, oh, so that's you. Yeah, now I know all you're probably anxious to hear about, Tamika. Not surprised to hear you two know each other. After a messy investigation. Yeah, as I was saying, I know you probably can't wait to uh, hear about her, but I'd like to ask you a few questions first. Oh, I understand. Do your job. 
Did you know? <laughs> you know, that's the obvious thing. Did you know, Tarkin's Carahan? Of course I did. We were both parents. Kept having professional obligations to meet each other, but that was it. What's your private opinion? That's how much everyone else is a race to plan. Andrew is stuck in the 19th century. We spent too much time keeping the landowners down. I'm glad he's gone. You mean you're glad he met the final death? Well, you know what they say. Hate to see you go, we'd love to watch you leave. Were you the first kindred to saw his corpse? I was, but I was at school with the founder. By the way, we've established that some of them tampered with the crime scene. They were probably disciplined with that. I mean, sorry, let's move on. What you help out for that night? Oh, no, no, I was running around the town the entire night taking care of various issues. I'm related to Callahan, but I don't intend to devote them to someone from the from town. There are no interest in proving yourself innocent? My official position was made clear. It's the camera who are to blame. You're trying to prove me wrong. You're a wild Mac. At least for once, I uh, can I face a problem that can be solved with fair logic, not politics. If I'm to her side, I should know her. That's me, she's the one who handed the motors in. I'm not privy to all the details. Hope, D'Angelo, Agatha, any idea who those people are? Uh, I can't recall, sorry. The evidence I found suggests a potential link between Callahan and Jamaica. Inclu oh. I knew both of them well. But as far as I know, they've never met. That's it. Oh, well, I'm not sure. Well, I suppose he's the kind of guy that could only be first to talk if I had something concrete to person with. Time to move on. Well, regarding Tamika. Oh, finally. Go straight to the church. She wanted to inform you. She was skipping town for a while. The SI is hard. I'm sure she needs to lose them ASAP. Oh, for our town of countless times. She's in danger. I always be that way. Does she think she can find a whole way out of the city in this situation? Eh, yeah, she's safe. So you say. Got some of her friends in high places. She'll manage to get out. Come on, that's not why I expected to heal. Oh, why well, I wanted to heal. Why did she decide to contact me? She wants to ring back. Or change the point for nine. Ah, I see now. That's why she didn't show up herself. Won't even face me when you live in the final instant. That looks like I stepped on a landmine. She said the room was a symbol of the trusty part. Yeah, I mean, no way how I'm going to give it away. Not until she gives me the chance to explain myself. I need that ring. Get to Mika Trap, uh, with the way he's acting, it doesn't seem like he'd be willing to part with I encourage me to shave, but maybe time to change my approach. Well, welcome to another one of the choices that affects the game. So, here's the thing. Being honest is the way to the bad ending. Because, you know... The whole good choice is bad choices. Good choices lead to the bad ending. Bad choices lead to the good ending. I know, right? So we're going to lie, lie, lie. Through our teeth. Right? We're going to be honest with you. Nah. You can't be a writer and not lie. Listen, this is not my business. If I think you've got something wrong here, how is that? She still loves you. Poof, he's only dull eyed for a short moment, but it's obvious I hear it hurts. Say you just met her, how would you know? Fun as I patrol together. Don't meet her trust, and then we had an unexpectedly on Stark one to one. That means where she was in the room, and before she was Before she was embarrassed, let the suggest came in. Now, but George is not in front of her. Go on. It's completely she understands the pain priorities of this world, but wants to hold on to all her ideas. That's why it's hard for her to stay close to you. Even though deep down she. be sinfully respects your slow and steady work, she still wants to give her own approach a chance. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> Don't worry. Why would you want the ring? To me, it was an obvious message. I was wrong to bomb my hopes and punishment. I must remember you, Bob. 
And at the center of those hopes to know, to remind you there's always another way. Look, I know it's hard for you, but you gotta... Give her time and the benefit of the doubt, who pay dividends in the long run. Slowly making her realize her misconceptions might have been wrong. I realize that it slowly dawns on him. Oh my god, he's after five and I'm dying inside. Taste ring I was inside Bach and passes it on to me. Go. Tell him I'll be waiting and then my feelings haven't changed. Of course. Let me lead you out. I don't need to manage myself. I believe I feel very so conscious about the pace of my walk. I feel like I just got away from murder. If you relate to what I said to me, it's your property. See through my bullshit and answer, but ah, well, won't be my problem at that point. Our time to go meet Jamaica. I found you already waiting in front of the Jewish Museum. So how do you go? Raise your eyebrows says I... Just my headset. She raised her eyebrows and put the golden ring into her palm. Quite surprised. To be honest, I didn't think you'd succeed. That turns out I'm a talented diplomat. From my experience, that usually means a liar. <laughs> well, yeah. What, what did I say? She looks at the room with a congenital case and stores it safely in her pocket. Why has she really changed? Yeah, who knows? I just met her for the first time in my life. Uh, my life. Well, I've kept my end of the bargain. Of course, it's time I keep mine. Last year, a certain fledgling appeared in the city and attempted to build a coal tree. That list you found on Cowhan, that's the list they got. Ah, yes, the fledgling. Well, actually, it was more of a near nay at that point, but yeah. Baby vampire, huh? Are you one so new who has figured out so little they still need the sire to protect them? My status as a fledgling was cut short by Cowhan's first departure. I had to learn the ropes on my own, and most of those lessons weren't pleasant. They contacted each of us, they found themselves in deep shit. They saw a Kaiser, Sophie Langley, and some shadow players manipulating everything from behind the scenes. Then they disappeared. Fun times. Kaiser, that name popping up once again, it can't be a coincidence. Who knows where or why? It doesn't really matter that it happens when you punch way above your weight. Hope they're doing fine just by all odds. In any case, Torque got involved too. That's how I met him after he got hurt, didn't want to say how, claimed to it for anyone who knew in danger. What happened to keep him the drive and the desire for change? For two months he was a beautiful kindred, plain and simple. Suddenly something in him snapped overnight. His tone mellowed out as his action became timid, his language became more a bit fitting of a political science to it than a as charismatic I'm having trouble saying words. I apologize. Charismatic leader. So we met someone who made him an offer he couldn't refuse, but I had no idea who that was. Then one night I told him. Told him when he went out and I saw him scheming at the Dr. Callahan. When he came back, we had an argument. When he refused to explain himself, I knew I was on my way out. And that was that. I understand. She learned that Uri might have become friends with the past with him and learned something more. He never told me. What made of all kindred? What made you think he would have told you? Scott Parr, I suppose. All right, thank you. Now it's my turn. Here's your way out. Find the manhole below our feet. Hey, here's some apple sewers. Follow the roof and burn it. You'll be looking for a one night notch road where in Tattico or Gail. Tell my sense you think give him the agreed upon an amount of money. What kind of route will I be taking anyway? An armored van for a precious coffins. My man knows how to arrange them to allow for to edge to cargo. Face darkens. The circuitry system? Or what you just bet? The rich and powerful always get the blood they want, one way or another, or at least tonight one of those roots will be used for something good. She offers to show some resignation, opens up the manhole cover. 
If I ever remember, if it doesn't work, I'll be back at your door to prevent it. It's the last thing I do. I'm sure it'll work out fine. Just pretty well for a giant of mine to go out. Okay, it worked down, though. Tamika rolls her eyes. Still go around, okay? For information, it's just a story New York can tell to a near nice match with them. Well, they're still got point enough to believe anything they hear about them, New World. Oh, yeah. We told you didn't have to fight those back in Redemption. Heh. <laughs> well, that makes sense, I suppose. Well, this is goodbye, if kind of a I can feel more to you hear that the first light presence in Los Angeles has been dismayed. Assume that it depends on how I'm still alive and can kick. Oh yeah, go have fun down there. Say hi to Jeanette and Therese for me. Maybe even say hi to Jack for me. Keep carrying on your screen when you might cross the line of no return, you know. Shouldn't you take it easy for a while? And not to my brothers and sisters of blood. Stop being slaughtered, I care about what's left of my human. Now I've been turning blind on a kindred and need to be even less human. So that's the kind of person he is. He probably will be until the very end. Let's be comforting him away. To know how your path will end, yet to follow it all the same. Yeah, I can never do that. It's supporting a for you. We might be monsters, but we were lucky enough to be born into a world that's even more monstrous than we are. If we wrap up against it, we might still find salvation. If only I could believe it. Let's read the preaching tone. Why are you telling me this? I think I have a pretty good notion of people's orders. Why don't they take a look at you? I feel a penchant for a ruthless opportunism. I feel the possibility that you'll give it into the field with the dark visions. The future you've conjured in your head. I feel a controlling anger that might get out of hand if you get a whiff of power. I feel someone who doesn't vary the truth much. Not much, just a hunch, but you seem to be prone to giving into the camera over simply promises to stay from that little petty burglarious failures. So basically what you're saying is I can smell all of the choices you've made so far. And that you're on basically the wrong path. I think I should take offense to that. Hope you do. They'll be flesh on you well. In any case, whatever happens. See you in the uh, next life, Julia. Save Trevor, Tamika. Give tonight's nice visit to the church. Not in the mood to see Bennett. I'm still embarrassed about yesterday's outburst. And I'm kind of pissed out of the clan and the elders. In Chicago, I to reply to any of my fucking reports. No advice, no feedback, nothing. I feel like I was left utterly alone. So I just late. I always got back to the apartment early in the morning. Wait for it, it's getting risky to be out here so close to some noise accidents can happen. Wait to get back over tomorrow night. Attempt to surprise the coach. Yeah. Back. And that's where we're going to end it. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all. And have a nice day.